Hey friends, welcome to the first episode of Fine Five MCQ Season One. Fine Five means we're gonna solve five MCQs in five minutes. MCQ type questions are not only helpful in examination, but it will be very helpful in competitive exams like GATE, UPSC, and many more. Some logical and practical questions may also be helpful in interviews. Now let us start with the episode one, which will be on law of parallelogram of forces. Before that, let me give you a short overview about how Fine Five MCQ videos will be. Every episode of Fine Five MCQs will start by a brief note about the topic and then followed by the MCQs. So now let's get started with the video. Consider two forces P and Q acting simultaneously on a particle as shown here. Let the angle between two forces be theta. By extending imaginary lines, we can get a parallelogram as shown here by dotted lines. So, as per law of parallelogram of forces, the resultant of the forces P and Q can be given by the diagonal of this parallelogram and its direction as alpha degrees from the force P. So, law of parallelogram of forces states that if two forces acting simultaneously on a particle be represented in magnitude and direction by two sides of a parallelogram, then the resultant may be represented in magnitude and direction by the diagonal of the parallelogram which passes through their point of intersection. Also, magnitude of resultant can be given by under root of p square plus q square plus 2pq cos theta. Direction of resultant can be given by tan alpha is equals to q sin theta divided by p plus q cos theta. So this is the brief note to the topic. Let us move to the MCQs now. Also, remember that all the following questions will have cases with two forces acting on a particle. And so we will be applying this law. This is the key to the following MCQs. Let us start with the first MCQ of Season 1, Episode 1, based on forces. So first question is, if P is greater than Q, P and Q are acting along same straight line but in opposite direction, then resultant is. And we have four options. So let us start with this. So we need to find here resultant. We know that resultant according to parallelogram law of forces is P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos theta. So here we have P and Q acting along the straight line but in the opposite direction. So let this be P and this be Q acting along a straight line. So their angle will be nothing but 180 degrees so we get theta as 180 degrees so let us put that value in this one we get under root of p square plus q square plus 2pq cos 180 degrees now we know that cos of 180 is nothing but minus 1 so we get minus 1 of this one so minus 2pq now this is nothing but p square minus 2pq plus q square that is a square minus 2ab plus b square and that is nothing but a minus b the whole square that is p minus q the whole square so we get p minus q as the value of r and that is the option b next numerical is the resultant of two equal forces p making an angle theta is here we have two equal forces so p is equals to q we can say and they are making angle theta so we need to find the resultant again resultant is under root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta putting these values we get p square plus q is also p p square plus 2 p into p cos theta so we get here p square plus p square 2 p square plus 2 p square cos theta and that is equals to we get 2 p square as common 1 plus cos theta and that is not our answer so let us simplify this to theta by 2 form we get 2 p square 1 plus cos theta is nothing but 2 cos square theta by 2 so we get 2 times 2 is 4 so 4 p square gets out as 2 p and this will be cos theta by 2 so that is our r value and that is option b now next one is the angle between two forces when resultant is maximum and minimum respectively are. 
सो वॉट शुड बी दी वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा फॉर मैक्सिमम आर एंड फॉर मिनिमम आर वी नीड टू फाइंड दिस राइट सो वी हैव दिस डिफरेंट एंगल्स एंड वी नो दैट आर इज पी स्क्वायर प्लस क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू पी क्यू कॉस थीटा नाउ इफ वी चेंज दिस वैल्यूज and subtract it or add it into these values we get the value of r so based on the value of theta we get let us say theta is 0 90 then we have 180 and lastly as 270 right now for cos theta you have cos 0 as 1 then we have cos 90 as 0 cos 180 as minus 1 and cos 270 as 0 so maximum value is 1 minimum value is minus 1 so we can say that at 0 degree and at 180 degree so answer will be a wait before moving to the next mcq i have an announcement for you we will be organizing quiz competition on the website soon you will get the registration link for the quiz even shortly through the community post so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel do it now to get notified for the event through community post thanks and sorry to interrupt let's continue now next is the resultant of two forces each equal to p and acting at right angles we have p is equals to q again and we have right angle that is theta angle between the two forces is right angle so theta is 90 degrees so we have r is equals to under root p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta So that is equals to p square plus q square plus two p q cos of ninety degrees. Cos of ninety is zero, so we get p square plus q square. Also, we have p is equals to q. So let us put here as p. So that is p square plus p square is two p square, and we get under root of p. So your answer will be option D. And the last one of this episode is. the resultant of two forces p and q is r so for p and q we have resultant as r if q is doubled the new resultant is perpendicular to r so if q is doubled so if q is 2q right p is p so that is the first condition that is the second condition then new resultant is perpendicular to p so new resultant let me r dash is perpendicular to p right so for this condition we can say that if this is perpendicular to p then alpha is equals to 90 degrees right and we have q as 2q here so we can say that we will write for alpha is equals to 90 degrees and q is equals to 2q we know that tan alpha is equals to q sin theta divided by p plus q cos theta so therefore tan of 90 degrees is equals to q will be replaced by 2q so 2q sin theta divided by p plus 2q cos theta so we know that tan 90 is infinite so 2q sin theta divided by p plus 2q cos theta right now this is only possible if the denominator is zero so we can say that p plus 2q cos theta is equals to zero so therefore p is equals to minus 2q cos theta we get the value of p here and we have option says this one so let us re reduce this one so now we can say that r is equals to under root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta so let us put the values of p we have minus 2 q cos theta as p the whole square plus q square plus 2 times value of p minus 2 q cos theta Into q cos theta, so that is equals to under root of four q square cos square theta plus q square. Then this will be minus four 
q into q square cos into cos square theta so this term and this term gets cancelled we get under root of q square so therefore r is equals to q so your answer will be option c here